China is in the middle of its fourth outbreak tied to the more infectious Delta variant in the past five months. It's sweeping across the entire country. More than half of its provinces are already dealing with coronavirus cases. More significantly, both Beijing and Shanghai have infections that are happening currently within their city limits. In Shanghai, officials closed Disneyland and tested more than 32,000 people, keeping toddlers and families there until nearly midnight, just because someone had traveled to Shanghai from a different province. In the end, none of the people who were at Disneyland actually had the virus. In Beijing, officials have closed schools because one person, a staff member at a Beijing primary school was infected. That staff member had gone to have a booster shot, thereby exposing other workers from different schools. We've heard reports that officials closed down the schools and kept the students there, in some cases allowing parents to come bearing blankets to keep their kids safe throughout the night. Every other country in the world that had been pursuing a zero tolerance policy for COVID has given up at this point. We know that Australia and New Zealand in particular were very successful, Singapore as well. All three of those places have said that they realize that because the more infectious Delta variant can spread more quickly and can get through defenses that previously stopped it, they realize that they're not going to be able to actually maintain zero COVID cases going forward. So all of those locations are learning to live with the virus. In some cases, they are easing. Australia, with a different vaccination level, is also doing the same thing. New Zealand is still trying to keep coronavirus under control, but it has said that it realizes that long-term that approach will not be successful, and it does plan to start allowing people in more freely in the future. We believe that China is going to stay shut down until the Beijing Olympics. China is very committed to having a successful Olympics, particularly following on the heels of the Tokyo Games. So they don't wanna do anything that's gonna make it easier for the virus to start spreading.